So in this video, we're going to set up um, our domain to point to an IP address. So currently in this, we're using, um, this is a DigitalOcean droplet. Um, we're using, um, I have other videos as well for Linode um, and uh, Amazon EC2. Please check those out. But so um, you'll need a domain. So I'm going to use a domain that's going to expire soon on me. Um, this working group I'm at GoDaddy, who I bought it from. You can buy it from uh, Namecheap or GoDaddy, all the same. And so you're going to change this value here, the type A record. So it's the one that you're looking for is the C name. www points to this name, which points to this domain. And we're going to change this to be our IP address for our, our DigitalOcean droplet. And hit save. And that will take a few minutes to change. And that's why we did this as the very first step. Um, so I don't think it will work right away. Sorry, uh, working group. Yeah, see, as you can see right now, it's just kind of trying to find, um, not uh, just trying to find the actual, like, previous uh, server I had it pointed to, so it's not going to work. Um, but what we're going to do is now set it up so that this DigitalOcean can, uh, DigitalOcean droplet can find it. So what we're going to do is changing, I'm going to clear this first. I'm going to go CD into the EC, ETC folder. Uh, the Apache 2 folder inside of that, and then the site's available. And so we're now we're in, the, in that folder. I go ls, you can see that we have two config files. If you want to set multiple domain, domains, just create multiple config files. But we only want do one domain, so we don't need multiple. Um, so this is our config file. Um, server name is the domain that we're going to use. Server admin is the email associated with the website. Document root is where the files sit error log, custom log, or where you, they print log, uh, errors. So if you get any of those, just look into those files. It's really awesome, but a lot of people don't do that. So the first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to delete this. I'm not deleting it, but I'm just going to comment it out. Server name, and then I'm going to make my server name um, workinggroup.com, and then server alias is www.workinggroup.com. And I've set it up so that the git repo is sitting in the HTML folder, so I wanted to point there. Um, a couple other things. I'm going to add um, allow overwrite, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Um, and I'm going to save this by I'm in nano, so it's control O, enter, and then exit. Um, okay, so that should be set up. We're going to run a service. Uh, service. Apache 2 restart, just to restart the Apache server. And there it gets working. And so now if this domain eventually points to this domain, this domain eventually points to the proper server, it should be able to accept um, it as it will look the exact same as this. So it might take some time. Um, I'll leave this for a bit. Okay, so I'm trying to refresh this. As you can see, it says HTTPS. Um, I want it to be HTTP, but so I used the same exact example for the Linode. I did that previously to this one, so that's why it's not working. So if I just open up an incognito window, um, it doesn't have the same cached values. So if I go enter, um, it now says hello from GitHub. And then I'm going to switch back over to my other window and change this from GitHub um, with digital ocean on um, this domain here. And save that. Um, do my git pull. Nope, not in the right directory. There, now I am. Git pull. Mix the updates. And then if I go back over my incognito and refresh the page. It's all updated. So now the domains are all set up um, to point at the right server. So please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please like it. Um, if you have any questions, please comment. I try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, thanks.